I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired with my thyroid. like my pile of laundry beside me. Um, I've been busy um, cleaning, getting caught up, I'm making a video about my thyroid and how it's all messed up. And your thyroid is a hormone gland. And so if that's messed up, then everything is messed up. So I haven't been making as many videos lately, honestly, because I've been really, really depressed. Last summer, I saw my doctor and I told him how I was feeling. And I've been on thyroid medicine for years now. But I told him that I'm still having symptoms of a bad thyroid. I didn't think the medicine was working. He sent me to go get tests done and he said, your tests are fine. I don't know why you're not. And that was that, like it was just, in my head and he made me feel like I was crazy and that I shouldn't be making a big deal of this because my labs looked perfect. So I don't know why the doctors have to make you feel like you're crazy. Um, obviously I'm not fine. I'm still having highs and lows and feeling really depressed every now and then. I'm still feeling extremely cold. I'm still having my hair fall out. So I'm not fine. I am cold all the time. Um, it's in the seventies and I have to have like a little cover on or you'll see me wearing my sweatshirt all the time. It's because I'm cold. I'm just, I'm always cold. It's not just because I feel uncomfortable. I'm cold. I changed my diet and I was feeling great. And then I cheated a day and then a second day because I felt okay. And then your head kind of makes you feel like, well, maybe you can't eat those foods and it's not gonna hurt you. And then you like hit a brick wall, fall to the floor, you're in a deep depression and you just wanna crawl in a hole, a really dark hole and never come out. I'm constantly tired. I feel lazy. I feel like just not doing anything. And it's really depressing. I tend to go through phases where I'll be feeling really good, I'll be eating right, and then I'll slip up and have a cheat day, and then I don't feel so bad after that first day. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I, maybe I can just eat whatever I want. And yeah, no, I can't, um, because it only takes like two days after that feeling of, well, I'm okay. And I fall head first into a depression. I get super depressed. It makes me not want to eat right. It makes me not want to exercise. Basically do nothing but just watch shows. I am a log. I'm a slug. I can't do anything. So I'm in this vicious cycle because then when I'm just sick and tired of feeling this way, I have to play catch up and it's really hard. So I'm just, I'm done. This last time was kind of scary for us because I'm just watching television with my husband in the living room and he notices that I'm breathing really fast and he's like, are you feeling okay? You're breathing really quickly and you're not doing anything. You're just sitting here. And I'm like, no, I feel fine. I'm a little lightheaded, um, have a little headache. And he's like, well, go take your blood pressure. And it was so high that I, yeah, um, my husband was considering calling 911. He was considering having me go into the emergency room because it was that high. I started eating really healthy and after just one day, um, my husband had me go for a walk and try to exercise again and I felt like crap. 
um, that first day. I was totally detoxing and I felt it. I don't know if I was detoxing from sugar. I don't add sugar to my foods. It's just the natural stuff that is put in our foods. Um, the little additives. Um, I was detoxing from that and caffeine. <clears throat> so I was feeling really bad. Didn't want to go for a walk. He made me. And the next morning I woke up and I felt a little better. And I started eating better and keeping track of what I was eating. And I took my blood pressure midday and it was normal. It just took like a day and a half for it to change that drastically. So that kind of was a light bulb for my husband. He was like, wow, we, that really affects you. I need to make sure I keep on my end so you can keep on your end and we'll do this. So that is the challenge. We're going to start with eating um, the Whole30 lifestyle. And yeah, I'm hoping to post or take pictures or video what I'm eating every day so you guys can see. Anyways, I will keep you informed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.